Hello there, humans. I've actually heard that some people are playing career mode. Mad. Yeah, fast creator player, so I'm on 10 at those. Yeah. Quite incredible, isn't it? I've actually never seen the AI so scared in my life. You know, really, really shook. And the reason is, is that we're using Jürgen Klopp's tactics, which we've managed to implement in the game, in which he uses a, a front three, the right forward and left forward, Salah and Mane, usually occupying what you call the half space between the left back and the centre back and the right back and the centre back. What this basically causes is the back four to have to become more narrow to deal with those inside channels. And then the right back and left back, Trent Alexander-Arnold and Robertson are overlapping. Now, I actually felt like there wasn't a formation in game that truly represented Liverpool's overall tactics and the way that they set up in game well enough. So I had to grab the 4-3-2 one. And we're having to make our own formation. You know, if we could actually do this in Ultimate Team, that would actually be so sexy. Like, I think we used to be able to do it, but then everyone was just going 10 at the bike. Like, everyone behind the ball, which is actually kind of jokes low-key, but man, there would just be so much more strategy in the game if, if that was actually still a thing. But nonetheless, Fabinho, we've got him on cover centre, stay back while attacking, and cut passing lanes. He's almost acting as a back three. I'll talk about that in just a jiffy, though. Um, the right wing back and left wing back now, instead of right back and left back, are on join the attack and overlap. Um, and then... The two centre mids basically just on balance completely. Right forward Salah's on false nine, stay central. Stay central target man for Firmino in the middle. And then stay central target man on the left forward. Now the reason why we've got all three of them on stay central is just to basically keep them nice and narrow. Make the defence go narrow. And then overlap with a right wing back and a left wing back out wide. The defence that we've got on uh, press after possession loss. Seven depth, really high line. The AI doesn't know how to deal with it at all. Offensive style is balanced, width on five, players on boxing four, corners on two, free kicks on two. So I'm going to show you an in-game example and just kind of talk about why I think this is actually the best way to break down the AI and control the game completely. Mate, this is actually kind of tough. We're having to play against a team that I support, Arsenal, in the FA Community Shield. But I don't know what's tougher, to be honest, slapping them up in this game or uh, watching them get slapped up in real life. Kind of peak, but nonetheless, Robertson going down the left-hand side straight away looking to stretch the opposition and the funny thing is for the in-game example i'm actually showing you perhaps one of the toughest possible games for this formation and the reason is is that they're using five at the back which is pretty much matching us man for man ah, but that's the thing luke they can't even get out the way that we're pressing them the gigan pressing strats so here's the thing that i don't think i've actually mentioned before which is that I think the 4-3-2-1, in terms of if you need to get goals, say on like Ultimate Team, is literally the best formation for getting goals. The only problem is, it leaks goals probably more than uh, any other formation at the same time as well. So you can score, I think it's the best formation, the 4-3-2-1, on something like Ultimate Team, is the best formation for getting goals. But... The counter-attacks and stuff are so lethal that you, you're going to leak goals as well. But the thing is with this, is that what we've been able to do is alter the formation to make it basically how Liverpool play properly, which is actually, instead of having three centre mids, which is kind of annoying, we're able to have a centre mid drop into CDM. And not just as a CDM, but just in front of a centre-backs, which really helps us to deal with the counter a lot better than the standard formation. And then also having wing backs instead of a left back and right back makes it a bit better attacking, you know, even more pro uh, prolific in attack. So here's the thing. You've got the best formation in the game for scoring goals, an enhanced version of it. And the only weakness to it is counter attacks. And that's an ultimate team. And do I have news to tell you? If you haven't played against the AI, essentially, what I've figured out from playing squad battles is that they're not very good. The AI are not very good on the counter-attack. So if you allow, if you sit deep and you allow the AI to play in around your box, they're going to be able to pick a pass better than a real player. Like, literally, they'll just see a pass. They'll see GI some pass out of nowhere. But the counter-attack, they're awful. So therefore... Having an enhanced formation, an AI opponent that can't really counter-attack to save their lives, and 
arguably the best formation for scoring goals. You know, what are they actually going to do? <laughs> like, what are they actually going to do? I think the only important thing is just to mention that you need certain types of players. So, for example, you need fast centre-backs. You need a right wing-back and a left wing-back that are going to be good on the ball. You need left forward, right forward and striker that are, you know, pretty quick and, and decent on the ball, good at shooting and all the rest of it. Centre-mids that are kind of box-to-boxy. And then you're sorted. And then you're laughing. So there you have it, chaps and chuppets. I actually find it pretty fun, to be fair, to, uh, to get the strats going on career mode. You know, you could delve into the tactics a little bit deeper. But we'll be doing the same on the Road to Glory. So check out my uh, ultimate team, Road to Glory, if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, I'll actually upload on that coming ever so soon. I'll see you in a GIF. Trust. Yeah. Competition looking hella washed. But you said you ain't dressed, man. I can watch you drop. Yeah, looking at the game, it's looking hella toss. Yeah, running circles, running while they're trying to cross. Yeah, 